what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Big Chief Studios Dr. No six scale figure now of course this is based on Dr. No himself like the villain from the first James Bond from Dr. No now I already previously did like the James Bond 007 figure so now I'm getting into the uh, Dr. No figure himself which is what the movie is called you know like Dr. No and of course this is like the uh, the villain himself or the figure of the villain himself so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this uh, right now this is the box that contains the Big Chief Studios six scale Dr. No figure so that's how it looks you can see the image of the figure on there it's a very good likeness too to uh, Dr. No himself for the actor and as you can see it does say Dr. No character replica figures right there on it six scale and this is also a limited too just like my bond one that I have of a thousand of these I have a uh, number 430 430 right there as you can see now on the back it shows like images of the uh, other figure that's available in this Dr. No line because you know uh, Big Chief Studios did uh, ones based on Goldfinger which I did miss out on I still would like to get those if they ever re-release those because you know they had a uh, Goldfinger himself and they had a uh, Odd Job too as well and uh, James Bond too but I had missed out on those particular figures so yeah I'm going to get into this uh, right now and I did get to see uh, Dr. No in the theaters here like kind of like a while ago they was showing it like in theaters and I had went to see it so yeah I'm going to open this on up but I'm going to read about it too as well I forget the uh, yeah, it says, uh, Big Chief Studios are proud to present the Dr. No six scale character replica figures. And uh, from the fully realized portraits to the authentically styled hand tailored costumes, our artists have developed the most faithful, meticulously detailed replicas in miniature. And it says uh, that these are the two characters that are available in the uh, Dr. No line because you know they have Goldfinger too. It says uh, James Bond is dispatched to Jamaica to investigate the disappearance of a fellow British agent. The trail leads 007 to the underground base of Dr. No, who is plotting to disrupt the American Project Mercury Space Launch with a radio beam weapon. Then it talks about Dr. No himself too as well. It says uh, Dr. No is a brilliant scientist who offered his skills and expertise to the Americans and then the Soviets. Rejected by both superpowers, he relocated to his island lair, Crab Key, in Jamaica. Now, operative of the secretive organization Spectre, no embarks on his criminal plot. So, yeah, it's that description on the back of both about the figures themselves, well, about the characters themselves. So, I'm going to open this on up. And this is the uh, diorama that comes with it. As you can see. So you got Dr. No in front of this, like the pictures. <laughs> I notice that this is kind of blurry too, like what mine does. <laughs> this is like another image of the figure in the box with the accessories. I know it's too up here, because I already kind of knew about this. Like uh, if you order these from like Big Cheese Studios, you get like exclusive like accessories with them but I think when you just order them like just from anywhere else like I got mine from Sideshow Collectibles because I've been waiting for this a long time it kept getting like delayed you know uh I don't have like the exclusive items because I didn't get it from Big Chief Studios because mine came from Sideshow so yeah I just wanted to touch on that too I'm gonna take this on out and of course you have like the uh these right here to the instruction manual and it has like this uh, other thing too, which I'll touch on as I go through it. And of course, this is like the uh, the other stuff that comes with it too, as well, like the stand. And you can see that like, stuff is like you know like missing, cause from what I hear, that's what it was. If I had got it from a uh, big cheese studios themselves, I would have had like the other accessories with this too. And these right here are like uh, it shows. It's interesting that they do have like James Bond's on too, as well as like, the accessories. Being that this is really Dr. No that we're looking at right now, but it shows like the accessories that he comes with right there. You know, you can see it like written. And of course, like the creators of this too, like the big chief people. But yeah, it says uh, Dr. No has uh, one Dr. No portrait head 
featuring like the authentic likeness of uh, Joseph Wiseman. He has like his uh, Nero jacket, trousers, socks, gentleman's shoes, and a display base with the uh, character name plate that's like lit up with illuminate. Then his accessories are the uh, religious statue, a cigarette in the holder, bottle of champagne, tarantula in cage, and four interchangeable hands. But I think even his will have stuff that was exclusive on until like a uh, big cheap studio is from what I'm hearing. Now this one is like the uh, you get like the instruction manual for how you put in the batteries because you know it takes a uh, triple A batteries, three of them for the the light up feature so you can light up the name plate. Then it shows how you take Dr. Noah's hands off and so on too, like interchange interchangeable hands. Gives you instructions on these. I like how it does say that too, uh, but Dr. No 007 it says top secret. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Then you get like a, a certificate for Dr. No too as well of authenticity. That's pretty cool. Now I want to talk about the stand that comes with the uh, Big Chief Studios. Dr. No six scale figure. Of course, this is how it looks. And as you can see, it has that under there. And I got Big Chief Studios like logo. And you know that's where you would put like, your three interchangeable triple uh, A batteries too as well. Then you get like, your your name plate. I think this is pretty cool and, and it illuminates too. It lights up. That's a nice feature to have, I believe, in my opinion. And you can see it has like his name. Dr. Julius No, or you could say Dr. No, read right on it too. And you know, of course, this would like stick right into your uh, the name plate thing right here. Where you can just stick it in and this will light up once you have like your batteries in it. So that's pretty cool. Then you get these, you know, it's traditional like U style stand for holding your figure up. Because of course, you know, that would go right in here like. You just press it on there like that. Yeah. Then you know you can raise it up, you know, adjust that level how you want it on your figure. Now of course we know this takes three AAA batteries because you can see it right there. That's what we'll, uh, we'll light this on up. So I'm going to put my batteries in here right now. <laughs> and here's the stand once you have it assembled. And of course you know it has like a touch stand right here too as well where you can cut the light on and off. But this is how it looks. I'm going to show it in the dark. So yeah, you can just cut it on like that and it illuminates, which I think is still cool. And of course, you know, it's like an on and off switch under here too as well to keep it on. But you can just touch it like that, or you can touch it to cut it off. <laughs> so I do think that's kind of cool on the uh, Big Cheese Studios part, you know. You still have to find where it's really at, you know, to cut it off though, too. Of course, like I mentioned before, it's like an on and off switch for it right there. That you can cut on. I know I probably always leave mine like in off mode. Yeah. Now for the figure itself. So I'm pulling it on up. I see he stands too. Yeah, he is still kind of loose though around like the uh, the leg areas. Cause I was noticing that before the James Bond figure. But it, it does like stand though. I would still prefer like to use like the actual stand for these though. So I had to move this plastic off of them. There's the Dr. No six scale figure, so I'm gonna measure him from Big Chief Studios. So I'm gonna measure him. He is like twelve inches in scale or in height size. So what I do first is talk about like the likeness. And the uh, articulation with well, a likeness to uh, Joseph Wiseman, and, you know, the art we're about to know. Now, I must admit, you can still tell that these feet, like around their, their, their leg area, is very loose. I must admit that. It's like loose. You can tell that you would definitely need like a stand. Now, they, do, they do stand, but I would suggest really using like a stand because I'm sure these will always fall over. But yeah, here's like the. Uh, the figure itself, 
try to get the lighting a little better. But the likeness to uh, Dr. No or Joseph Wiseman is uh, done pretty good on uh, this figure. And here's his clothes. You can tell they have this like Velcro together too. You can like open this. And here are his glove hands. And these are the shoes that he have on too. You can set the socks and stuff. But yeah, around this this area is like very loose. I don't you know. If you know what I mean, I'm sure certain people know what I mean when I say that. Yeah, you would definitely look like a stand. Now his arms, they do go up. He does have a bend, like in the elbow too, so you can't bend the arms. Hands can turn. And the arms even loose too. I'm glad they are like loose, because you know like a lot of figures be like very tight and like stiff. His knees does bend too, so you can't bend the knee. Like he has like a you know double bend in the two way, you know what I mean? It goes all the way up. And the feet can turn too as well. Head left, right, up, down. It looks like it's kind of loose too, like his head. So yeah, this is a solid figure, and it's been and this is the first Bond villain too, you know. I think this is pretty cool. Like I say, you would definitely need like a stand for it. <laughs> Not to hit on it, the, the company or anything, but you know, like the, the ladies, they're like very loose. But it would stand, but I know there's no question we just left it, it would fall over. Now I want to move on to the accessories that come with the uh, Big Chief Studios Dr. No Six Scale figure. He get, they give you pegs. I'm glad that Big Chief Studios do this in case you like broke off peg in the hand and so on and that's pretty cool. I think even for the feet I'm glad they give us these. And up next he has the uh, champagne bottle. It would have been cool if they had some fluid like like it was some fluid in it but it still looks awesome though. It's a nice little accessory to have. It even has a name on it too. It has already been open. <laughs> But like I said, it would have been cool, but it's awesome though. They had like some fluid, like it was fluid in it. That's still decent. Then up next, he has a, a left and right hand. And these are a glove too, as well. And then he has a cigarette with the holder on it too. So that's pretty cool. You can see it has the holder too. Then he gets the uh, the statue right here too as well, the religious statue. Hmm. Then I guess the coolest accessory of this is the uh, tarantula in the cage or the spider in the cage as you can see because if you look you can even see it through the uh, red uh, attached to the wall and that's pretty cool and of course you know well, I took mine off you can take it off and you can actually see the spider on the inside attached to the uh, the cage I'm not sure if that's removable I'm just going to leave it there now I want to compare my Big Chief Studios Dr. No figure with uh, the James Bond figure from uh, Dr. No Big Chief Studios. Now I must admit, you can tell that, and now they don't understand, you can see that the uh, Dr. No is actually taller than uh, James Bond. Like he's taller than uh, Sean Connery, as you can see. This is another awesome figure too, but the legs, like I mentioned before, are kind of like loose, like you would definitely need these stands. But like the likeness to Sean Carter is just superb on this figure. It really does like Sean Carter. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see there's like a height difference between these two. So I'm just noticing that. But yeah, uh, this is how these look. So these apparently are the only two figures that we will be getting from uh, Dr. No. So yeah, I think they're awesome. Yeah.
her. Okay, that's the Vic 2 Studios. Dr. Noah's six scale figure. I think this figure is awesome and definitely uh, worth having. Especially if you have like the uh, James Bond figure from Big Chief Studios based on Dr. No. So yeah, uh, only problem I think with it is that the delays, like the feet around our area is like very, very loose. So like I said, you would definitely need like a stand for these. But I've seen like other figures like that too as well. But the likeness to uh, James, I mean uh, Dr. No himself is uh, very, very uh, on this figure. Just like I was with like the, uh, the Sean Connor figure, like the likeness to uh, Joseph Wiseman. Does like look, it really does look like them, so I think Big Chief Studios did good with that. Now, I missed the Goldfinger figures, you know, like I know they had like Goldfinger and Odd Job and all those. I have missed all those, you know, and the James Bond from that one, too. I would definitely be up for getting those if they re released those, but I was hearing that those kind of had like issues, too, as well. But, um, from what I'm hearing, that uh, Big Chief Studios they were planning on doing like a Timothy Dalton uh, James Bond figure next to that, would have been cool. I would definitely got, got that. I don't know if it was going to be based on like the Living Daylights or License to Kill. I'm not too sure. But I would definitely been up for that. But I'm hearing that supposedly, like, I think their license has expired or they lost the license to like the 007 franchise, Big Chief Studios. So I don't know if we're going to be getting that now. But that's what I was hearing was up next. But I would love to have seen like Pierce Bronson, of course, you know, and so on. But like I mentioned before, like the Golden Eye, the actual video game, like from Nintendo 64, that's my all time favorite video game, Golden Eye. So yeah, I was always a huge fan of that particular video game. And I have seen all like, the uh, James Bond films from like Dr. No all the way to uh, No Time to Die and seen them all, you know. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. So this is the uh, Big Chief Studios Dr. No six skill figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.